So you want to utilize the cloud for your next EDA design. Well, there are some options. You can have a proprietary cloud, but that could mean issues with licenses. And that could also mean wasting valuable engineering time, which could mean slowing down your overall project timeline. But you could also utilize Synopsys Cloud with automated license management, which is great and includes a pay-per-minute EDA tool pricing. And that could save you a lot over the long run. But then there is also a third option, Synopsys Cloud Hybrid Solution. What exactly is the Synopsys Cloud Hybrid Solution? I'm glad you asked, because that's what we're getting into today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Vikram Bhatia from Synopsys and I explore how you can accelerate your next tape out with Synopsys Cloud and AI. We also discuss new enhancements and customer use cases that leverage AI with hybrid cloud deployment scenarios, and how this platform can help CAD managers and engineers reduce licensing overheads and seamlessly run complex EDA design flows through Synopsys Cloud. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Synopsys. Hi, Vikram. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Emilia. So nice to talk to you again. Excellent. Welcome back. So first off, give us an update on the Synopsys Cloud platform. What all has changed since we last spoke? Yeah, thank you for giving me this opportunity again. I know we talked... Uh, almost a year ago, and a lot has happened since then. So let me talk about Synopsys Cloud and where we are in terms of the product itself, industry adoption, and what customers are doing today on the platform. So broadly, we've seen a tremendous amount of innovation over the last two years since Synopsys Cloud has been out. We are currently in release 6.1. As you remember from last time, we do a major release every six months and a minor release every six weeks for the Synopsys Cloud platform. Now, broadly, we've added a lot of new innovative capabilities to the platform. And typically for semiconductor customers or engineers who are designing chips, they leverage cloud in many different ways. The deployment architectures are different, how they use cloud, where they run their EDA jobs versus where license management happens for the EDA workloads. They're all unique and different. And we've added a lot of deployment architectures. So today customers can run their workloads on-prem while leveraging Synopsys Cloud to provide a lot of additional capabilities such as the Flex EDA business model or complete license management automation. And we recently announced in March that we've added a hybrid deployment architecture. Now, hybrid is a term used broadly, I would say across the IT industry, and it has a different meaning for different people. For chip design, I think hybrid takes a unique meaning and a unique uh, place. From an adoption perspective, we have had several tip outs and I have quite a few customer examples that I would love to talk about and share. And then of course, the number one thing that we hear from customers on the value they get out of deploying their EDA workloads in the cloud through the Synopsys cloud platform is in terms of much faster time to results for the same cost. And this is critical for most people today. As we know, the semiconductor industry is very hot right now. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of innovation and growth happening. And time is of the essence for everybody, all sorts of customers, large and small. And we are consistently seeing a much faster time to market when customers leverage uh, Synopsys Cloud to deploy their EDA workloads. So Vikram, how does Synopsys Cloud enable faster tape outs for chip design engineers? Yes, I think ultimately that's the most important question. How does Synopsys Cloud accelerate TTR and how is it different from, let's say, semiconductor customer actually deploying EDA workloads on cloud themselves? So let me give you a broad illustration. 
basically Synopsys Cloud is a software platform which enables a unique business model. And what we've seen is there are three different capabilities of this platform that enable customers to leverage Synopsys Cloud for much faster time to market. And this manifests itself on a per job basis. So if your job typically took, let's say, overnight to run, you can actually finish it in two or three hours instead of all night. Or if you aggregate all of this over a period of several weeks or several months, or over maybe over the entire chip design life cycle, you can end up saving months of time and accelerate your tape out schedule by that amount by leveraging these capabilities. Broadly, I've categorized these into three. Number one being, of course, our Flex EDA licensing model. And what it does is it enables customers to not be limited by the amount of software licenses that they own or they have access to, but just pay on a per use basis by the minute. And most of our tools that are available under this model are charged by the minute and customers can leverage that to drastically speed up their jobs. And I have an illustration, I'll show you how. The other biggest capability that most customers value today is the complete license management automation this platform provides. Now, typically for a CAD manager or a CAD person who's managing the entire project and all of the licenses, there's a lot of overhead in terms of managing all of the license servers that are running these complex environments across diversified design engineering teams. And uh, if we are able to provide the capability to completely automate this task for them, they're able to save hours and hours of time or what I call overhead every day. And we have customer after customer who's telling us this is probably one of the biggest values they get out of deploying through the Synopsys Cloud Platform. The key to this is that we have completely automated the license server deployment, the license server scalability on the cloud, and of course, the act of actually enabling and activating a new license or a set of licenses on the platform. So today you can go to the Synopsys Cloud Portal and download and enable licenses and they're available for you to use immediately within a few seconds or a few minutes. And that reduces a lot of time that is wasted typically in uh, EDA environments to scale up jobs, right? So if you're running verification, for example, with 100 licenses or on 100 cores of compute, and you want to scale up to thousands of licenses and thousands of cores of compute, today you can do it at the flick of a button and not worry about how many licenses you need and where you would get them from. Because combined with the Flex CDA model, this system enables everything automatically and you have access to unlimited licenses on demand. And because you're only paying for the specific amount of time that the job actually runs, if the job runs faster, you're actually paying less. And multiplied that with the number of licenses, you end up paying the same amount. The hybrid solution makes it very easy for Customers who have on-premises data centers, but they're running out of capacity, compute capacity on those, to be able to burst to cloud as needed, on demand, on the fly. Our solution is designed specifically for EDA workloads, so it splits jobs automatically on its own. And depending on what capacity is available on-prem, that part of the EDA job will run on-prem. The balance automatically moves onto the cloud and there's real-time data synchronization between on-prem and cloud and in incremental chunks, so it does not impact performance at all. So we believe that this solution would be a game changer in enabling total time to market acceleration for our customers. Well, let, let me give you a very quick illustration of how this manifests itself, all of these three combined, when you're running EDA workloads, right? So I have a simple example. Let's say you have two VCS licenses and you're running them on two cores of compute. And typically this job takes about five hours to run. And the total runtime is basically 10 compute hours because you're running on two cores. Now, the amount of money or cost that an engineer will bear for this job is depicted by this little area under the curve now imagine that you're able to run the same job with 10 licenses on 10 cores instead of two. What you're doing is you're actually finishing the job now in one hour. And of course, this assumes that the job scales linearly, but it's an illustration to 
make the point that you're going to end up paying the same amount, which is basically area under the curve, but you're actually finishing the job five times faster. Now, if this applies to one job, now you know that in a chip design life cycle, we're talking about thousands and thousands of such jobs running. And imagine how these time savings can aggregate over time. And we have customer after customer that's coming and telling us that they're able to speed up their entire chip design schedule because of these capabilities that the platform provides. All right. So, Vikram, could you share a couple real-world examples that support these claims? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to do that. So, over, I would say, the last two years, we have had many, many tape-outs on our platform. And today, we have many customers running in production. And many of these customers have come back and told us the value that they have seen from the platform. And this is across the board, right? Across the entire chip design lifecycle, which means it's across our entire EDA software portfolio. Here's one example from Cisco where they run library characterization and they were able to actually reduce their entire recharacterization schedule from three months to just one month within the same amount of budget that they had scheduled for three months. And imagine what you could do if you save two months of time in your project life cycle. We have Acronics, which has basically is developing the entire SOC on Synopsys Cloud. And this is an example for their physical verification where they were able to get results five times faster using exactly the same capabilities. We have Mentium who built the entire SOC on our platform and they were able to actually pull in the schedule for their next tape out and they were able to basically meet the foundry shuttle and deliver the current tape out because of the capabilities that I just talked about. So as you can see, customer after customer across the entire EDA software portfolio has validated these claims that we talk about. And in a sense, in aggregate, um, we believe that customers will be able to save about 40% of time that they have scheduled for their jobs or their projects or specific workloads if they are running on Synopsys Cloud instead of trying to manage this themselves on-prem or through their own cloud deployments. Okay, so Vikram, let's step back a bit and talk about cloud EDA deployment architectures. What's unique about hybrid cloud deployments for EDA? Sure. Let me try and define this because I think this question keeps coming up every time we talk to a new customer about the differences between these architectures on how you're going to deploy an EDA workload on cloud and what's the difference between one deployment architecture versus another. So what I have here is a typical cloud deployment, right? So and I call it traditional because customers have on-prem deployments and they'll continue to have them. They will have their own data centers that run and manage their own compute farms and they'll manage their license servers and they'll run EDA workloads on them. But when they're running out of capacity or when there's a need, they will set up their own cloud environments. And I have taken an example. I mean, it could be any of the large cloud providers, Microsoft, Amazon, et cetera. And these environments will basically just mimic the setup that they would have on-prem. And the difference would be in terms of how frequently they use it, or what sort of capacity they're leveraging on the cloud. But there's no difference really between managing an on-prem environment or managing your own cloud environment. Now the challenges with such an approach to deploying on the cloud is you're again still limited by the number of licenses you have for EDA software, even though you have access to a large amount of compute, almost unlimited scale of capacity on the cloud. There's still the license management overhead. You're still managing your own license servers and you are scaling them yourself. So you're deploying licenses yourself. And then it impacts CAD productivity just as it does on-prem. A lot of time they spend is focused on just deploying different licenses for different teams or moving licenses between different teams because they're limited by the amount of licenses that they have budgeted for a particular project or a particular financial year. Now switch to a Synopsys cloud type deployment architecture. You have choices, right? A customer can have EDA jobs running on compute, which is running on-prem, or they can have their own cloud environments on Microsoft or Amazon or Google Cloud. 
and still leverage Synopsys Cloud, and this is what we call the bring your own compute or the bring your own cloud architecture to do complete license management automation. Now, when you do it on-prem, you're able to basically leverage Synopsys Cloud, have access to the portal, get complete license management automation, and also be able to use all of the analytics and business insights that the Synopsys Cloud environment provides. If you're deploying on cloud, then you also get to use paper use metering and other enhanced solutions such as ChipSpot, which I can talk about on the Synopsys Cloud platform. And then of course, there is the SaaS deployment option where customers come to Synopsys Cloud and get everything they need, right? So not only are they getting the core features or license management automation or Flex CDA paper use, they're also able to leverage built-in compute, predefined, pre-configured flows, scheduling, and other capabilities such as OpenLink, which we have released over the last year or so. This is a complete browser-based environment where customers can come in and do end-to-end -end chip design, full SOC, just leveraging that browser window. And this is a very unique offering. And of course, combine it with the Flex CDA business model, it makes a very compelling proposition for customers who don't want to maintain on-premises data centers, or especially startups or new emerging companies who don't want to spend their time or their money on building IT teams or IT environments. So this is a great value for them. Now, hybrid is kind of unique. Hybrid is designed as an architecture to enable customers who do have on-prem data centers, who are managing current environments, but they're running out of capacity and they want to leverage Synopsys Cloud's capabilities to burst seamlessly to cloud, but only use cloud for short periods of time only when they have excessive needs. And uh, this is what the hybrid environment enables and combine it with the capabilities of Synopsys Cloud, customers are able to actually get a lot of benefit from this type of architecture. So let me talk about hybrid cloud in a bit more detail. How is it different from solutions that are available from infrastructure providers today? And almost everybody in the, I would say, technology industry talks about hybrid cloud in a unique way, right? People define it in the way it best represents their need or their solution. For the Synopsys Cloud hybrid solution, we've designed it specifically for EDA workloads. It's tightly integrated with our tools. So we have optimized our tools to work better with this solution. And the key here is that an EDA job or an EDA workload can run from a few hours to sometimes several weeks, depending on what kind of workload you're running. So if you're running timing analysis, it's gonna take days. If you're doing uh, verification, it could be a few hours to overnight. If you're doing implementation, it could take weeks. And when an engineer wants to leverage the cloud capacity to scale and speed up their jobs, the process today is not easy. Basically, they have to decide what part of the job they should run on the cloud or mostly they try to run an entire job on the cloud and they have to move data from on-prem to cloud, run the jobs, get output in the cloud, move the data back. And then if the job was partial, they have to aggregate that data over time. So this adds to a lot of overhead for the engineer to manage these deployments. And of course, CAD and IT teams help and try to make it as seamless as possible, but what we focused on was the idea that how can I enable an engineer to be able to do this seamlessly from on-prem? So imagine an engineer firing a job to a scheduler on-prem and forgetting about it. And the scheduler working in conjunction with the Synopsys Cloud Hybrid solution, automatically splitting the job between the compute capacity that's available on-prem versus compute capacity that's been configured on the cloud, running the job split in that way, and then real-time data synchronization between output generated on the cloud as well as output generated on-prem. And when the job finishes and the engineer comes back, they don't see any difference between how this job ran versus how it would have run if there was no cloud, right? Completely on-prem. So that is the goal and we are able to do it because the way we've designed the solution, it is 
looking at specific EDA workloads and is trying to figure out how to manage the compute, the data, the networking for that job and make it seamless for the engineer. And our estimate is that this will improve engineer productivity by up to 50%. They will save hours and hours of time, especially when they're running hundreds of these jobs over the entire project lifecycle. So Vikram, where does AI fit in with the cloud? How is this useful for chip designers? Yeah, thank you for asking that. I think we got deep into the technical architecture discussion, but I think the core of this session was talking about AI and what's AI doing today and how does it leverage cloud to make it an even more effective or unique solution. So, you know, synopsis.ai is our offering, which is across three different, I would say, vectors where we're leveraging AI for chip design for one, optimization, which is probably currently the most popular in our flagship offering. We're also leveraging AI for analytics, basically get real insights from data that's generated during the design process or the design project itself. And then of course there's generative AI powered by large language models and how that can help engineers improve their productivity and just speed up the entire design process itself. And amongst all of these, design space optimization uh, is probably been around the longest. We have had over 300 tape outs on this platform. And what it does is it leverages AI to do amazing optimization of the entire circuit itself. So the core value it provides is in terms of improving power performance in area. And typically we've seen up to 15% better PPA with uh, a DSO being deployed. It's an AI engine that tries to find the best possible solution for your design. And these are very complex designs. It works over the entire SOC itself and then is able to provide optimization that's much harder to do or would take much longer with just purely human intelligence involved. And people are also leveraging DSO for design migration when you're moving from one node to a faster node and drastically speed up migration. And this is one of the most popular workloads today. The need to optimize the design over a smaller PPA space is a big, huge requirement. And then of course, if you wanna do early feasibility and you wanna just explore and test out multiple floor plan configurations, you're able to boost productivity by up to 5X by leveraging DSO. Now, this is available obviously both on-prem or cloud, any type of deployment architecture. But on cloud, it becomes much more pronounced because AI jobs require a lot of compute. And uh, the availability of the latest and the greatest compute on-prem, especially on demand and at scale at which some of these designs require and for short periods of time, right? So if you're gonna run it just for a few weeks, leveraging cloud is a no-brainer. And you combine that with the capabilities of Synopsys Cloud that I defined in terms of the Flex EDM model and the license management or automation, it's a huge value for customers. Now, what we did was we added the DSO workload to our hybrid solution and we optimize our hybrid solution specifically for that. And if you'll talk to customers today, when running AI-based optimization solutions, one of the biggest challenges they have faced is the ability to leverage compute or the need for compute at very large scales for short periods of time. Now imagine if you could do that seamlessly at the press of a button because the solution is tightly integrated with the hybrid architecture that I just defined. Now you could fire a DSO job on-prem and let the software take over and be able to split that job between what's available on-prem versus what can run on the cloud and be able to finish that for you without you having the need to expand your on-prem capacity or wait for months to be able to do that because we know there are a lot of lead times for hardware to be brought in if you're going to do a capital expenditure and grow your data center space. So this is a great solution for customers and what we are actually offering today for customers is a completely free evaluation with uh, licenses, compute, AE support, whatever you need to be able to access and run AI-based optimization on the cloud. 
So Vikram, what are some of the biggest barriers to cloud adoption for design engineers? What we are learning is the number one barrier to cloud adoption, or I should say public cloud adoption is cost. Because on-prem, when customers have large data centers themselves, their cost of running compute versus what they can get from cloud providers, there's a big difference. They're able to actually spend less on-prem than what they pay for compute resources on the cloud. So what we have tried to do is come up with a solution where we can help customers reduce their costs on compute, what they're paying directly to cloud providers like AWS, et cetera. One of the ways to do that is leverage AI and leverage what is called spot instances. So AWS provides the same compute that you would normally get under what they call the spot market. Spot is unique. I mean, there is a catch. So spot is cheap, right? So the same compute, let's say it's a 32 core machine with half a terabyte of memory, will cost you maybe 60, 70, 80% less if you buy it on the spot market with the catch that they can terminate that machine on short notice and give it to somebody else who's paying full price. And while it's great to reduce costs, it's not so good for EDA workloads because EDA workloads need a running machine for hours or sometimes days or weeks because sometimes these jobs take that long. So with ChipSpot, it leverages AI to do some sort of prediction in terms of when there is availability in the spot market. And then it has a technology which is powered by one of our partners, Exostellar, and that technology actually moves a running EDA workload from a spot machine to a full price machine and back on the fly without the job dying or terminating until the job finishes. And we see this solution working across very high memory EDA workloads, which typically you would not be able to run with any other solution on such an environment. And essentially, with this large workload running over days or weeks and moving between spot compute versus full price compute every so often, we've seen customers saving 50, 60, 70%, depending on the workload, on the amount of money they pay to cloud providers such as AWS or Microsoft. So we believe this is a very unique way of leveraging AI to help drive more adoption on the cloud and help designers basically speed up their workloads and leverage cloud more effectively. Okay, so Vikram, can you summarize the state of cloud adoption in the last two years since the release of Synopsys Cloud? Oh, absolutely, I'll be happy to do that. So today we have the entire Synopsys EDA workload available via Synopsys Cloud, offering complete license management automation all of our tools which are available under the paper use model are available by the minute. And uh, we have support from the ecosystem with most of the largest foundries in the world that are enabled. What that means is customers don't have to go through a foundry audit process, especially if they're setting up new environments or their new organizations or startups who end up facing that challenge. So we've done the job for them in advance and we've got alignment and legal agreements in place with uh, most of the foundries that the customers would be using. In terms of overall adoption, I've shared some specific examples of what customers are doing and talking about, but what we've seen is adoption across the board in terms of the spectrum of the types of chips that are being developed and for different industries that, that they are being developed for. So we are seeing AI accelerators being developed. We are looking at a lot of adoption across SOCs for the automotive industry, across network, both on 5G and remote Fi. And then we've seen FPGA IP being built. We've seen data center chips being designed and some very unique aerospace applications being developed on this platform. So customer adoption is going great. We have seen a lot of tape outs on our platform. And again and again, customers are actually going public with this information, either through some of the case studies that we have published or the talks that have been presented at conferences such as that. Excellent. Well, Vikram, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. 
Thank you. And I do encourage all of your listeners to actually sign up to try Synopsis Cloud for free for 30 days. Thank you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Synopsis. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.